Deborah Simpson syndicating your content on how to create an event for your fan page. First we're going to pull our fan page up. You can tell it's a fan page. It has the icon versus the group page which has the silhouette of two people. Choosing the fan page. And here we are. I show my events. Here is a tab, so I'm just going to tap events. If you don't show your events as a tab, you would simply look under your profile picture. Going over here to your edit page. And then down here to your events, roll over the pencil here, tap on it. You want the application settings. And then you're going to add the tab. I Mine's already added, so mine says remove, but you would say add. And then you'll get a tab on your fan page that will take you straight to your event section. So going to our event section. We're going to create an event. You want to make sure that you give your event a name as well as an image. So it'll be, this is a North San Diego at large, which is my online radio show. I'm going to choose uh, something from over here. Whatever I choose from over here will give me a different drop down box over here. So for instance, if I chose party, you could see that I could fine tune it by what type of party. I'm going to show education and then I'm going to call it a, hmm, how about a workshop? It's kind of hard they don't have one for online radio shows. And then I'm going to just type in the details here. I'm giving it the date that it's going to start and the show is this Friday which is the 7th. So I'm choosing the 7th. The show starts at 3 p.m. So I'm choosing 3 p.m., having it end at 4 p.m. on the same day. The location, and see, I've typed in a lot of stuff around here. So <clears throat> once you start typing in things, you, it'll pre-populate. And all you have to do is uh, either start typing in or a double click will also show you what else has been chosen. And then my email address. And then I'm going to say create the event. I want to customize it with a picture. So I do have a standard picture that I use. I've navigated to where the images are that I like to use. I have the image I want to use and I just say open. I have to certify that I have the right to use that picture and then I can upload it. It does to need to be less than 4 megs in size. It's uploaded for me. I'm happy about that. Now I get to choose some options. I do want to let people know they can bring friends. I'm just going to work my way down this list. I like to make the event as open as possible. The reason we're creating the event on our fan page is because it's easily searched by Google so we get more juice out of it than we would if we created the event from our profile page. We do want to show the event in the search results and then just say save. Now we're coming to inviting friends and if you have been putting your friends in lists it will be much easier to invite friends. So for instance, if I wanted to invite all my friends, I would have to select them one by one by one by one, which is going to take a long time because you can only send out from your profile 20 people through your inbox and from your fan page, you should be able to send out at least 100 at a time. 
So if you filter your friends and that's creating your friends in a list, it's much easier. Now because my show is primarily in San Diego, I have, as you can see, two San Diego lists because each list is less than a hundred people. So I can choose the first list and you can see I have 81 friends in the first list. Now what becomes available to me is the opportunity to select all, which I didn't have before. So I can easily select all and send them out. When I'm doing it just to my friends list, you see that it does not have an opportunity over here for me to select all of them. So that's why you want to filter your friends by creating lists because once you create the list, it much makes it much easier over here to do a select all and then send them out. And that will be the last thing you'll have to do before publishing your event to the web. And I'm just going to finish and view it. I can come back after the fact and invite people. Once again, right here, this is the event page. And I'm the administrator of the event, the creator of the event, so I have all these options available to me, including inviting people to come. That's how you can create an event in your fan page at Facebook. I'm Deborah Simpson, syndicatingyourcontent.com.